don't know why they call it the miracle of life. It is so gross. And so much of this sound. You must be exhausted. Why don't you go to bed? Nope. I'm staying up until Taylor gets home. She has 20 seconds until I'm right, you're wrong, and she's busted. I don't know. She's coming home right now. Huh. I mean, now. In three, two, one. Crap. I guess you're... Hi. She's home. She's home and she's on time. Yeah, but in what condition? I'm just gonna go to bed. What did you do at the party? I just hung out with my friends. She just hung out. Wait, wait, before you go, the night is still young. Let's play a game of Simon Says. Really? Hmm? It'll be fun. Simon Says, touch your nose with your index finger. Simon Says, walk towards me in a straight line, heel to toe. Simon Says, say the alphabet backwards. Um, R. Okay, forget it. Go to bed. Why is it so hard for you to say that your daughter did the right thing? I don't know. If she would have done something wrong, I could have grounded her and kept an eye on her. And she wouldn't be out there worrying me. I'm not ready to let Taylor off the leash. I get that. But you gotta realize, we bring him into this world like Viv just did, and life is one long process of letting him go. Even though I can't wait to get rid of them, I want to hold on to them just as much. Like you. With your stupid National Geographics in the basement. Hey, guys. How was the party? Did everything go as planned? No, Viv's stupid baby ruined the mood. But that's okay. Gives us more time to practice. Let's go perfect the push-up bra. Okay, but remember, no pinching me with the class. And try to warm up your hands. Uh-huh. Ah, boys and their bras. Story as old as time.